So you went to the show. I saw moments of much better at that show. Yeah. So, you know, and it's all subjective. Who was the judge? I couldn't see that. It was some guy. Um, Axel said he thought he knew who he was. Was it Brent? Course, Brent Hicks? The, the signature was unreadable. Okay, well, they should have had it printed on there. But, okay. Um, so it might have been him. Okay. Are there other judges that are men? Yeah, I don't know. I can lose track. Ulft Awaden. So, okay, come on over here for a minute. I'm going to see if I can stick all my little things in here, and I'm going to take a really deep breath. I actually thought about having a beer before I left, but then there wasn't any time, so screw it, I left. Um, I almost bought a couple of seltzers. <laughs> so, we're going to start with oh, God, I'm tangled. Ah! <laughs> you have too many wires. There we go. Okay, so we're going to start with. What, what do I do when I walk my horse? There we go. Contact. Feel. You have a dropped rein and you have contact. You and your horse right now can't have anything other than that. There's no gray area. So, your dropped rein, oh yeah, if your horse wanders over here, you tug on the rein and say go that way. That's fine. But, you're the horse. How much contact when you just had her did you have? That's, yeah. Okay, so I'm walking along and my horse is kind of hanging. And I'm, hey, come on now. Come on now. Now look at what happens with my elbows. I say, hey, come on now. And that's, yeah. So don't um, this or this or this and follow her mouth. Following the horse's mouth with a stiff elbow is so overrated. Um, and you will get riders that are like, you have to follow. No, yeah. oh, you follow, and you push them to the contact where they come rounder, and the following isn't this. You know what I mean? So um, go ahead and walk on. Now, your horse isn't round. You want her round. So bend your elbows. Oh, she's going to give you hell. Yeah, now that's right. Now you make a halt. Yep, tug within that feel. Now. Upper body back. Again, we're now we're back into the arm. It's here in a perfect world. It's here or give. It's not here, yeah. here. Now, if you want to flex the horse, you can do a flex. But if you're doing don't pull, which has to happen before a flex. You have yeah. two reasons your horse is in your hand. She's either pulling or she's inflexible laterally. If she's pulling, you're never going to fix the lateral stiffness. Okay. okay, so I'm walking and my horse is like, yeah, I'm just going to drag you. Half halt. Notice I didn't say half halt. I half halt. I sat down on my butt and I said, mm, you're not going to pull me out of the saddle. And she may give you the finger because she's like, you're not letting me do it. Well, then you're going to say walk forward and you try it again. So walk on. Yep. And halt, bend her to the right. Yep, and give. Yep. That's it. Don't, don't soften her. It's okay. Yeah. Look at her, look at you. Now I want you to do it on a bend. Walk on. When you walk, take her head right. Don't seesaw on her mouth. Halt. Shoulders. Good. Relax your fingers a hair. She has to learn that you're happy with a lighter contact. The only way she's going to learn that is if she has moments of lightness. So straighten her neck. Stand in a little circle here. Okay. So you, you kicked and you dug and you squeezed. No, get your heels down and say walk. Make this a full 20 meter circle. Remember, we have the geometry's huge. Shoulders stay back, get your boobs farther apart, your chest out so that your shoulder blades can be strong when they need to be, and close your seat and halt. Relax your hands. Relax. Yeah, I liked how much you relaxed there. You didn't go here and you, you know, and walk on in the bend. So squeeze like I'm holding back a car. That's a great idea. I'll quote that. Keep your heels down. Get out of her sides. Now make a halt. Good. One of the things, that's better. One of the things that I like to think about when I have a horse that just doesn't want me to hunker down into their back is to pull myself down with those bent elbows. So walk on. Kick. Kick. She says, no, you're going to have contact and I don't like it. Elbows stay bent. Bend. Pull yourself down with those elbows. 
I don't want you following her mouth that much. Thank you. Now you're following a little bit. And halt. Good. Relax your finger. Hands a little bit. Yes. Praise her. She didn't instantly jut her jaw against you. Yeah. And walk on. Elbows stay bent. Thumbs stay the highest point. Good. And halt. Use your seat. Match better. Relax your fingers. So there is a split second moment. Yeah. Yep, yep. There's a split second. She thinks you're going to tap her. Second moment. Your horse comes. You're sitting. You're like, you're hanging. So you bring her back, bring her back, bring her back. Halt. Give him the halt. That split second before you're comfortable. Don't get to the halt and say, are you still hanging? Because I'm going to hold you here. That'll backfire every time. So walk on. Elbows bent. Good. Make a halt. Hold her in the right flexion. Give. Oh, you fought that urge, didn't you? And walk on. I saw you jiggle the right bit. You're like, but she's not soft yet. I can't. Now make a halt. Elbows. Give. 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 Suit. Yes. And walk on. Tracks me up. Good. Keep your elbows bent. Pull yourself deep. And halt. Give. Halt. Yeah, so that one you, you gave, and she goes, oh, good. You had to redo it. No big deal. We're doing it within the bend because if you're bending her to the inside, she's going to want to turn, and guess what? you got to use your inside leg, and then you have more outside rein. So it all ties together. So that's why we're using the bend. So you have to stay out on the big circle and walk on. Elbows bent. Careful. There's a horse at the end of those reins. And halt. Elbows. Give. Yes. And then your horse was a little bit in suspended animation. Did you feel that? You gave and she didn't go, I'm going to brace. She didn't get mad and back off. That's when you can start using the bit and walk, straighten her neck and walk on. Elbows bent. Your arms are stiff. So I hope you don't have an event this weekend, do you? Perfect. Because this is the nuts and bolts of what you really need to learn. Elbows. El pull yourself down on those elbows, not your hands down, your elbows down. Yes. Now bending and halt. Shoulders. Give. Now slide the bit in her mouth. If she just pulls, slide it back and forth. Slide it. No, don't shorten your reins. Just slide it. Just slide it. Now, it's the what happens when you slide that is really the, the question. Does the horse back off? Yeah. And, and you know, there, there comes a time where it may, yeah, just slide that bit. Now, we don't want her to back up. We don't want her to fall left. We don't want her to fall right, and we don't want her to walk. We want her body to stay right with you. Yep. So there she starts backing off. That gives you the reason to use your, uh, your legs. Yep. And then halt. Give. Ask her round again. Slide the bit. Elbows back. Slide. Yes. Yes. Super. Now, keep talking to her with your hand. You're creating a place. You're not creating a horse that drops her neck. You're creating a place. She needs to stay in that place. Not because you hold her, but because you use half halts, because you use bend. So when you're ready, walk. Get after the butt if she doesn't go. Halt. Bend. Pull yourself deep. Give. Resoften her. Yep. Good. Close your legs to tell her don't fall when, to the right or backwards. That's right. Good. Ask her to soften. Keep playing with the bit. Little tug tugs. Little don't get don't get harder. Just kind of be a pain in her butt. Yep. Good. Praise her. Keep your elbows and walk. Now the minute she grabs, halt. Right now, halt. Tug her these. Good. Fix what happened. She fell to the left. Did you feel that? Mm -hmm. So then your left leg comes on. Good. And then halt. Take give. Don't overdo the halt corrections. So go back to the line of the circle. And halt. Yep. Ask her around. Play the bit. Slide it around in her mouth. Yep. Oop. Check and give. Make sure you have a moment to give. If, she, if the playing of the bit creates a different problem, fix the different problem before you replay the bit. Now her butt's behind her like a saddle bread. Now halt. Give. Play the bit. Yep. Left rein too. Yep. There you go. Again. We're trying to teach her to whisper, if you will. Good. <laughs> she has to speak quietly. Good. And walk. Good. Yep. 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 
bend her. You lost your bend. Careful, don't run over this other horse. Sorry. And halt. Oh, you're totally good. good and halt. Good. Play the bit. Make, make sure you did have a give before you played. Yep. Yep. If she just stonewalls, you can take another step forward, and that's going to be a catalyst. She'll grab the bit, then you re-halt. Get her back out on the line. Not by turning her head. That's what your right leg's for. Yep. This is, I love this because we're really analyzing you. And you're going to learn to analyze. Your horse has required you to be tough. And halt. Give. Play the bit. Yep. Slide it around. Yep. You can tug on that left rein a little bit harder if she backs off. That's grounds to use. Yes. Tug and give. You bet. Tell her, no, nope, I'm not going to back off. Good. And if she starts ignoring you, oh, look what you just started doing. Yeah. Yep, not happening. Take a step forward if she stonewalls you. The problem will get bigger. <laughs> and then check and give. Good. Ask her to come around again. Yes, yeah, see, that's okay. Good. Good. And walk. 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 And halt. It's okay. It's a real fine line, and she doesn't really know how to be this way. Now, she's standing like a saddlebred, and I don't know if you could feel it. Yeah. So, there, and now play the bit. Halt, give, play the bit. Legs stay on, reminding her not to back off. Yeah, she, she says, that's fine, she has to learn. And you have to halt, give, play the bit. She has to learn that this is how you're gonna ride her, with, with more leg of a better leg, Yep, go forward if you're going to use your feet Teach on a nice line that you're supposed to be on. Take, give, and halt. Halt. Yep, she doesn't get. Good, and ask her round. Yep, play the bit. You bet. Good girl. Yeah, make sure when she gives it up that you tell her she's good. And then walk when you're ready. Yeah, okay, and halt. You got farther. Take and give. Give. Yes, play the bit. So you have to have really a clear, whether it's a take and give or a play, huh? You yeah. need, don't get seesawing on her. If you feel, when you feel like she gets good in the hand, her reward is to walk on. Don't throw her away, play the bit. Take a, a step forward, yes, and then halt again. Take give, yes. Take give, now play the bit if you feel like it's, uh, she's not bracing on you. If you feel like she's just bracing against like she does at the walk, then maybe take a few steps forward in the halt again. Remember, you have two things to fix the feel in the hand. Longitudinal and lateral, you gotta fix the longitudinal first and walk on. Play the bit a little bit when you walk on. Remind her, this is where I want you. Yay, bend your elbows. Bend your elbows, now make a half halt. Tell her, excuse me. And then give, play the bit. Find a way to make that half halt. And then give and play the bit. Good, don't let her drift. Outside elbow needs to keep be steadier. Good, good. So you're creating a place with your elbows and your hands that she is required to stay in. Very good. You're not forcing her into the place you're schooling her to it. Make a little half halt. She's getting too quick. Play a bit when you feel like she listens to the half halt. Make sure it's a half halt with a little tiny give to test whether she's going to rejut her jaw out, drop her back, and go fast. Good. When it gets to be too busy and too much negotiation, then you have to rethink the longitudinal suppleness. Do I need to halt? Am I not keeping a good place with my elbows? So go ahead and halt if you need to. Oh, phone in the hot sun, brilliant idea. Make sure, now if she drifts out, then take a step forward. Get the straightness again. Kick her forward. Don't get mad at her in the hand. Kick her forward. Tell her, I'm sorry, my hands are staying here. Elbows stay bent. And then you halt again in the bend. Fix what happens. She drifts uh, left in the halt. You have to use more left leg. Yep. Shoulders, knees, exactly. And this is why I want to spend this time at the walk so you can take, oh, I need to sort this out and not get so busy. So when you're ready, you'll make your halt again. 
Shoulders stay back, your hands stay there. And relax your hands once she halts, give. Praise her. She, she, she starts thinking now, oh, when she, when she halts, she's gonna give. It feels better. And walk on. Make your hands stay in that place. Good, left hand especially is gonna stay really steady now. Good. Keep the left hand nice and steady. Praise her. Now you can start thinking about a little give and take on that right rein as you're traveling. If she gets strong, you use your seat for the half halt, which I feel she's getting there. If you can picture what happens, she drops her withers down, her butt goes behind her and her neck comes up. The butt has to stay underneath, but you're not gonna chase it. Making a half halt with your shoulders and your elbows. Yes, super, paying attention to the line of the circle. That left elbow has to keep very steady. Pull yourself deep on the left elbow. That's right. Good, play the bit. Perfect, beautiful. Do not throw it away when she gives. She needs to learn to give in that place. It's the tiniest of gives. Half halt again. Beautiful, good. Talk to her. Good girl, that's really good. Make a half halt, she starts getting quick. So now your ace in the hole is when you start feeling it happening before it becomes a problem. So you have, a, you have two intuitive spots you have to tune into. Uh, giving before you finish your half halt or halt and not throwing her away and letting her run. Feel when things get a little out of control. The best way to, to take care of the second one I was talking about is practice the half halt. Don't wait till she's strong now. Good. So after you half halt and you can play the bit, then you go a little forward and half halt again. And it becomes a half halt that no one on the ground sees. You're just being an effective writer. Play that bit. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Now the bit's moving. Now it's running through. <laughs> Pull yourself deep on the left elbow. Half halt her. You want that bit to feel almost suspended in her mouth and movable. Perfect. Don't throw her away. Don't throw her away. Making your little half halts. Elbows pull you deep. Be part of her body when you half halt. Not someone up there throwing um, thoughts at her. Make a little half halt again. Play the bit. Perfect. Half halt again. Play the bit. Perfect. And this is a sensitivity situation for you. Half halt again. Play the bit. Good. Half halt again. Play it. Perfect. Again, keep enough energy that you can half halt. So you have to say, hmm, maybe I should push her a little bit. Don't get busier in the hand. You know she might get strong, but teach her to go forward in the hand. Half halt because she got strong. Pull yourself deep. She's not going to, yes, tell her I need you in that spot. I call it the pocket with these guys that like to get long. I am artisan used to be that way. I tell them you need to get in the pocket. Half halt, elbows. You're gonna feel like kind of an unforgiving rider right now. I want, I mean, you're gonna have a quarter of an inch of gin in your elbows. Think about that. Bend your left elbow. Good. Change directions. Don't do it fast. Use your seat at E turn right. Use your seat, elbows, turn your shoulders, your hips, and your knees. Good, come straight towards me. Keep the contact on each side, use your half halts. Start taking her in left flexion for the turn left at B. Half halt, she needs that all the time. She's forgetful, large circle, half halt, help her balance. It's all about balance. Good, half halt and help her in the bend. Perfect, play the bit, get that suspended feel. She says, no, I think I wanna grab it. So you make a half halt, cause she got fast. Shoulders, yep, okay, I love it. Perfect, half halt again. Good, and again, bring her back more, almost halt. Yeah, good. When you half halt, I want those knees dug down into that saddle, shorten your reins a little bit so you don't have to pull back. So that when you use your shoulders, your rein aid is because your shoulders did it, not because you pulled back. Think, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Good, make a little half halt, put her back in that pocket, keep her looking left. That's okay, that was an honest mistake. She says, but you want me forward to the contact. I don't know how to do it this way. 
Good. Keep her looking left. Half halt again. Don't try to do too much with your hand. Now, you've been negotiating this for a half a circle plus. Halt. Pull yourself down on that saddle. Don't swing your shoulders side to side. Good. Play the bit. See, excuse me, do you remember this? I realize the, uh, don't get too, uh, if it's longitudinal, take a step forward. Good. Yep. Every correction of you coming back to the halt. Yes. And walk forward. Half halt because she's bracing. If she doesn't listen, you halt. So she gets in a hurry. So do you. Outside elbow. Pull yourself deep and halt. Good. Play the bit. Now your horse is looking like a wiener dog. Give her a step forward because her butt's out behind her. Yeah, I'm like, I feel something. Yeah. 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 That's okay. Good praiser. So, and then walk on if she's good in your hand. So you, that's a moment where it's prudent to take a step forward. The step forward's going to tell you a lot. If the halt's like, I, I can't fix that, simply take a step forward. She's going to show you what was wrong. Good. And half halt her together. Keep her looking left so that you have an outside rein. You got the other direction to where you could be real steady on that outside rein. Make a halt. Good job. Play the bit. Good. Praise her. Now she starts going, okay, and walk on when you're ready. The minute she juts her jaw, make a halt again. Halt. Yeah. Sorry, sweet pea, you say. Make sure you have that second of a give after you halt and ask her round. And then when you're ready, good, you walk on again. <laughs> hey, there's no one. Laura can explain what that is. That's funny. And now half halt. Don't get too busy. Pull yourself deep. Good. Play the bit with your fingers. Yep. Almost shake it in her mouth. Just see if that helps. Yes. Good. Good. Your arm, arms are too, moving too much. They're going forward and back. There you go. There you go. Perfect. Half halt the keeper there. Super. I want you to make two steps of a turn on the forehand right now. Half halt. And now I'm across the left hind under. Good. And now walk forward with a half halt. Perfect. Love it. And there's your lateral suppleness. Use your half halt. Good. Not so much, meh, a little, not quite so much neck bend. Use your half halt. Don't throw her away. You just abandoned her and it worried her. Hands are going too much left, right, and forward, back. Half halt. Turn on the forehand aid a couple steps. Get the half halt first. Half halt. Slight give. Turn. Perfect. Walk forward in that contact. Yes. So that's your rebalancing aid. She goes, but can I go look at my friend over there? And now half halt. Engage the left hind. And now go forward. Super. Play the bit. You bet. You got to be really ready to bring those shoulders back and say, mm -mm, don't run through me. Remember, don't wait for her to get too strong. Good. She doesn't need to counter bend. Good. Keep that outside rein half halt. Okay, I was just checking my times, my time sheet on my phone. Good. We're good. Half halt. Outside rein. Yep. Inside leg. Love it. Half halt again. Outside rein. Yep. Inside leg. Beautiful. Now you have to use a little more outside leg so she doesn't drift. Good. Keep her looking left. Good. Eyes up. Chin up. Yep. She keeps asking you questions. Think of this as her asking you questions. Can I go faster? Can I go slower? Can I fall right? Can I go fast? And you're going to keep putting her in that pocket in front of you and up underneath your saddle. You're going to keep her back up underneath her. Good. Don't let her out walk you that she doesn't have to go fast. Bend. Yep. Good. Half halt. Yep. That's her just trying to say, can we just not be doing this? And you're going to go, ha ha, you're funny. I'm doing it. Good job. Good outside leg so she doesn't drift. Half halt when she gets strong from the leg. Good job. Play the bit afterwards, remember? Yes. Yes. Trot when you're ready. Let's go ahead and change the subject. She's appropriately getting bored. Good. Now, you know she grabbed the bit and trotted off, and she fell to the left. Walk. Elbows. Pull yourself down in that saddle. Not left, right with your shoulders. You have a habit of swinging your shoulders left, right. Oh, I want you to plant your shoulder blades on the top of her rump. Bring her back underneath you. Half halt. 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 
Yeah, give. Now are your legs on her side? Yeah. Think, now they are. And walk on. Yeah, so she's a little mad. Well, that's okay. Good, halt. Give, play the bit. Tell her, you know, just because we trotted. Yeah. Yep, yeah. ask her. Yeah, and she's a little bit, she's, the biggest problem is she's a little pissed. Ask her around. Good. Don't let her walk through. That's what was happening at the trot. That step right there. Now, she butts out behind her a little bit because she tried flattening her back, dropping her withers. Sit back. Good. Try the step forward without her falling to the right. Yep, and then halt. Yeah, you got four corners. You have to control all of them. Good. Yeah, she just pissed. And you can't give in to it. And ask her around again. Praise her. She made a good decision. Ask her to walk. 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 No, oh, you were so busy being... Is that because of your spurs that she's doing that with her hind legs? No. Oh, you guys have been doing pee-off steps with her. Yeah. Why? Yeah, in a while. I was going to say, why? Pee-off is so beyond just steps like that. Make a halt. Oh, never mind. Good luck. Look at that. When you thought about the halt, she came around her. And walk on, walk on. Make the half halt strong, like you're going to halt. The second she gives and quits pulling, then you walk on. If she doesn't give, halt. Yep, give, give, halt. Strong. This is your moment. Give, praise her. So if you give in the hall and she goes, goody, I get to leave, you have to ride better. Sure, we can blame her, but you need to ride better and bring her right back. She's getting very frustrated with you putting her in this box. Keep, yep, keep centering her nose. Yep, good, good. Play the bit now and walk on. You're, yep. Now you're getting to the root of the problem. Your horse doesn't like to move. Your horse doesn't, what I was going to say, you're now to the root of the problem. Your horse does not move to the bridle. Your horse gets strong, but doesn't move to the bridle, okay? You're, you're getting there. She's now realizing, I can't get strong, but, you, but she wants to back off. And you're saying, you still have to move to the bridle. And half halt, play with the bit. Yep, keep her head left. Keep her head left. Halt. Halt, don't swing side to side. Halt, give, ask her around. Play, fix the backing off, fix the backing off. So, and this is a real mind, yeah, make her take a step forward. This is a mindset, you are her trainer. When she backs up, you have to say, mm -mm, you're gonna take a step forward. When she uh, throws herself right, you're gonna fix the right and vice versa. Walk on because now she's playing uh, wiener dog again. Don't pull her down. She'll put her head down when she's ready. And halt, bending, give, praise her. That's gonna be a really hard thing for you for a bit. And walk on. Exactly, and she, well, she's not helping you. And halt, halt, give, play the bit. Good, good. She goes, My, yes, and walk on. She asked, that's the other half of the equation. Yes. She got it for two strides I know, yeah. and halt. And we have to be celebrate those two strides. Ask her around, play the bit. Good, walk on. Praise her. Good. good. Yes, now she, she like says, over oh, yes. The energy comes from the hind legs, steps over the back. If she gets strong, don't be afraid to halt. Good job. Now, the key is, can you get to the trot in this? Make a half halt, re-aid the roundness, and then, just like out of the halt, the next step is to go forward. But if she's pulling, ignore the trot transition. You will, if she pulls, come back. Is she pulling? Thank you, sit down. Look at me when you walk in that situation. Oh, I cracked my back, you can't do that. You're throwing her off balance. You just have to squeeze everything down. And walk on in the bend. And now make a halt. I'm laughing at her. Halt, shoulders. Yes, give, give, give. Good, and walk on. Because she's thinking about backing off. Now make a halt. Give, ask her around. 
slide the bit around in there. Yep, if it makes her back off and uh, fix, fix the problem. The, the, her head is now inconsequential. Kick her with the right leg. Tell her, what are you doing out there? And now halt. It's all right. And play the bit. It's really that simple. If she, you asking her to play the bit and she starts throwing herself sideways, it's the sideways that's suddenly the problem. Play the bit. Kick her forward because she's backing off. Now halt again. Good. Play the bit. Yep. Tug, tug on this right. Now halt again. Good. Take your right hand a little bit right. Yep. Kick her forward. Elbows. Yep. Give. Don't fall out of the ring. Your horse is about ready to act like a pony. Good. Ask her around. Use that right leg. Good. Ask her around again. Play. Praise her. Praise her. Praise Celebration girl. moment. That, that's really hard for her. Play the bit. It's all right. Good. Play the bit. Yay. Don't let her go over outside the ring. Yep. Keep looking where you want to go. Take a step forward. See if you can realign her thoughts. Outside leg. Kick her. Don't poke her with the spur. Give her a kick. Look where you want to go. Good. She goes, and, and rightly so. She goes, every time I want to go, you don't let me. Well, it's because you're pulling, but we're not. And now play the bit. Good. Yeah, she goes, but that's really hard. Halt again. Take your hands a little tiny bit wide so you're not pulling back and play the bit. Just a little tiny. That's tiny. Good. Play the bit. Praise her. Walk on. Her reward is to go. And halt. She give. Good. Play the bit. Yep. Inside leg for she stays with you, but she doesn't throw herself around. Good. Walk forward when you're ready, but not when she's... Yeah. So if she throws herself right, fix it. Good. Playing that bit. Again, why are you still walking if she's bracing against you and dragging you? Good, play the bit because she said, I might think about giving if you walk me. No, sorry, Mare. Play it again. Legs, kick the walker forward a step. Use the right leg, kick her off the right leg a couple steps. Yep, and then try the halt. Praise her. Oh, she goes, okay, now she backs off and ignores you. Go forward a bit. You bet, kick her forward, kick. Yep, then halt. Good, play the bit. Kick her forward. This is okay, this is stuff we need to fix where it's a whole lot easier than having a thousand pounds of this thing dragging you and play the bit. You're finally seeing what's really happening under your saddle. Yeah. If she backs off, think about it. One plus one equals two. She backs off, go forward. She throws herself right, push her off that leg, and vice versa. Well, hey, you. Walking out of it is the final frontier when she's good. How's your horse? He's good. He had to have his shoe put back on because he twerked it. Good so girl. Should be good yeah. now. Oh, good, 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 good. But, but he's doing better with the bit? Uh, good. I haven't put a bit back in his mouth okay. yet. Okay. That's probably a good thing. And then half halt. Do you guys riding him in a, um, there, in a bitless? Yeah, he's been in the bitless. He's been lunched. Good. In the halter with a... Good. Use tiny half halts. With a stud Perfect. chain to help. Yeah. And then good. I just got one of the Fager bits. I'm waiting on another one to try it. Good. Now think about it. She has to stay moving to the bridle. Little half halts, but she has to stay moving to the bridle. Well, that's good. He was pretty much off last week because of his twisted shoe. Was oh, that what that was? And trot when you're ready. All right, well, let me know when he's ready to go have a lesson. Good, go. Don't chase her. Find a nice place where she stays in that pocket. Little half halts. Oh, interesting. Oh, yeah, that's good. Good here. <laughs> keeping, yep, keeping her looking a little to the left. Don't overdo anything. She's fragile. If you could have a horse that's fragile in a tank, she is. Think about what's happening under the saddle. You're gonna do little half halts, but remember at the halt, it made her throw her hip out. It made her back off. All of those things need your attention all the time. Yep, good job. She only fought the bit there. Did you feel what I mean? She didn't throw her body into it. Don't wait for her to make a mistake. Use your half halts, keeping her bending. Play the bit. 
If you don't feel like you can play the bit, then you probably need to half halt again or be a little bit more assertive with a halt. Good job. Or a walk transition. Good job. Really good. Okay, sounds good. Use those half halts. Keeping this super simple. Not just for her. Because you don't need complexities right now. Don't let her drift. That's, remember what happens in the halt when she drifts. Perfect. At B, you're gonna do very quiet turn towards E. If you don't make it, I'm okay. Just little half halts, start your turn. Taking little half halts. Start using your right leg and 20 meter circle right. Right leg, right bend, elbows, keep her in the pocket. Little half halts. Good job. A little bit strung out. So think about that. Hmm, if my horse is strung out, she's a little bit like a wiener dog. So you're gonna squeeze her butt up with a half halt. Half halt and squeeze. Bend her right. Good. Keep her looking right. Shake that bit around a little in her mouth so you guys don't get dead in it. That doesn't mean your whole arm moves. Up, oh, little half halt here because she got longer and flatter. Because that's what happens when she drops her back like that and like she does in the halt. Super. When you are ready, you're going to sit the trot and canter. Keep her in the place though. If she loses the place, you're going to just fix it. Sit back. Good job. Sit back. Good. Yep. Rock her back onto her butt and then play the bit. Yes. And rock her back. You might have to do one rein a little bit stronger, probably the inside rein. Elbow stay deep. Perfect. Play it. Find the place that you can play the bit. Whoopsies. After the half halt. Sit back. Sit back, sit back. Good job. Find the place to play. And then you make another half halt and you turn her and you find the place to play. And then you make another half halt and you turn and keep her cantering. Perfect. Trot when you're ready. Half halt, half halt again, half halt again. Keep her bending right, half halt again. Good, play the bit. Really good, need a rest? Change directions very carefully through the circle. Elbows stay bent. Half halt. She coughed herself into a problem. Yeah. Don't. It's okay. Bend her left. And now she's a little bit worried. Good. Use the half halts. Bend left. Half halt the outside. She's drifting right. She probably got a, 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 mouth, a lung full of her own foam. It happens. Good. Upper body back. Fix the longitudinal issues before you fix too much of the lateral. Good. Now she's a little bit long and flat, so maybe a little more lower leg when you half halt. Good. Don't let her drift to the right when you half halt. Keep her bending left. Super. Can you play the bit? If the answer is yes, then you canter. Very good. Upper body stays tall. Good job. Now you rock her back. Sit back and say, we got to still have this. Keep your butt keeping her cantering. Good. Keep her rock back here. Elbows, shoulders, outside rein, outside leg. She's drifting. Think about how you dealt with it in the halt. Place, yep, and shake her loose if she comes back to you. And then do it again, a half halt. Good. Think about not, yes, not letting her drift. Beautiful. Perfect. Rock, rocking her back. Play the bit. Perfect. Rock her back. Good. Play the bit. Shake it a little bit in there. Rock her back again if she says, I can't hear you. Yes. Push, push, push. Remember, it's to the bit. When she comes around, we don't abandon her with your seat or your hands. A little half halt. Perfect. And trot. Immediately half halt. Good. Shake the bit a little in there. See if it works. Look at that. Elbows. Don't get sloppy. And walk. Yay! Long rain. That was good. Very, very good. I'm super happy with that work. Yeah, I am too. And it's, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those where it's all about you being aware. You know, we had a lesson, whatever, about the last lesson, where we really, 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 really made you aware of our geometry. This is good. You're more aware of your geometry. I see this. This is great. And then it comes down to how do I teach my horse? You're teaching her. And um, she's ungraceful sometimes. She throws herself. Well, it was two-way street. When she get too strong, you'd wrestle. I didn't let yeah. you wrestle with your, um, 
with your hands, so you wrestled with your shoulder. You know, there comes a time that, sure, the horse just, you go, I'm here, and you are still pulling on me, and that we might need to, whew, head rush, over bend and take that outside rein strong. Those are the moments that, and then, you know, the horse gets kind of in a turn, the turn makes an outside rein, but you can only do that if you're not playing the games of, you know, your body throwing around. Super, super good. Um, patience was the virtue there. She got frustrated. You stayed patient. She thought she had some great ideas. You stayed patient. You also stayed predictable. You were, that you said, yeah. When you quit, sorry, get it off, yeah. When you quit walking forward with pull, then all, oh, I got it. I knew I do have that in my pocket. Yeah, that felt. It's funny because it feels like, especially at the beginning, like, did I go 10 steps backwards? But then it felt like I jolted like 10 steps forward. Well, 15. Yes. As soon as I, because it's like the feel. Or, oh. You guys come to a lesson. I want a lesson before a show. Well, fine. You see my hands? They're tied. Yeah, because, yeah. I can try to make. I just want to keep, yeah. There. So, uh, that's why I asked. You have a show. I'm like, eh. um, <laughs> So, that's. Good what you did is very pure. Yeah. Very yeah. pure writing. Um, and uh, I love where your seat went with all of that. Yeah, actually, that felt good. Yeah. Excellent. All right, let me give you your drink. Your yeah. Breath. Yeah, no, that, yeah, I just. Do you have any questions on all that? No, I'm just going to review the tape. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, good no, job. it felt really good. I felt yeah. like I got it. I mean, I'm slowly getting more and more little things and putting them together. You know, I saw, like, the horse, the horse was doing the job. Yeah. And he was kind of 